Okay, this is Introduction to Programming. It is the Level 2 Cambridge Nationals. This is T1 Design Overview. There's going to be several elements that we're going to go into detail in. First of all, you're going to have to consider the brief, uh, talk about the levels of your game and what's going to happen in it, detail the input processes and outputs, talk about the language environment you're going to program in, talk about the algorithms you're going to include, and then right at the end, all the success criteria so we know whether it's a good project or not. Now let's take a look at these in a little bit more detail. Starting off with a brief. Who's the customer? Why do they need it? What do they want? And how will it help their business? Now go into your game outline. Exactly what is the scenario? What is the mission? How will the scoring work? What will make it fun? What characters have you invented? Once you've given us the overview, go into the detail. Tell us about each level. Tell us what's going to happen in each level. And give us some rough sketches so we can see what it looks like. Again, the more detail, the higher the mark. Moving on to the next section, we now need to know what your inputs, processes, and outputs are going to be for your game. So, on the inputs, you need to think about what keyboard or mouse inputs are going to be needed. On the processes, what broadcast, what operations, what control, what processes, how you're going to uh, influence the scoring, what happens to the level changes, and then on the outputs, what is your screens going to display, what will the user see, how will you show the scoring, how will you uh, action the sounds. So input, process and output are the heart of every computer system, go into that detail. Now it's going to be the language you're going to need. Now there's three languages I'd like you to consider, machine code, python and scratch. You need to do advantages and disadvantages of each, and then underneath that, justify and explain your choices. Now you should have watched the two videos we've highlighted for you by now, and you should have a large vocabulary to describe the languages. Now make sure that you uh, cover it in detail, and you might need to do some further research later on. Once we've done that, we need to go into our algorithms. So first of all, start with the game flow charts. Tell us how you start the game, what you broadcast, what variables you set up, how you initiate the first level. Once you've done that, then go and break down each level. What action will happen? What scoring will happen? Where, how will you move on to the next level? And what will characters do? Don't forget to add level two as well. Now the final section is your success criteria. You've put a lot of work into the design so far, and now you need to tell us exactly what you're going to do uh, to make this project successful. So just give us an overview summary. Is it the fun element or the technical element? And then break down each uh, idea into further components. Now, five success criteria where you go through the smart targets, how you're going to measure it, how you're going to check it's been done, uh, and exactly what it is. Now, don't forget that you need to consider um, two options. You can manually check that everything's working properly, or you can actually do a survey for your audience and purpose. So hopefully now you've covered all the other areas and uh, you have a clear idea of what's needed for T1 design. So good luck. Thank you.